What is up, everyone? It's the Drummer Nerd, and welcome back to another episode of Mod Sauce. Today, uh, well, I want to show you guys the base I've been working on. Uh, it's not much. Uh, it's a little better looking than the last time. As you can plainly see, there's a little bit of depth and uh, texture and fun stuff. I have been playing almost primarily, well, I should say almost. I've been playing primarily with the chisel from Chisel 2. And we've been using, uh, where, where, where do we go? Where, where did I put you? Oh, here we go. Stone. So if you haven't played with Chisel 2 before, all you do is you right click on the chisel. And you take this cool stone right now. And it gives you a bunch of different things that we can use. And you just grab it. Awesome. Now I got a cool looking material that's not stone. Because stone is boring and lame. Man, he's so lame that we're going to put him right back in here. And throw my chisel back up now. So today, what we actually need pretty badly, uh, with a crosshair in my face, what we need pretty badly is some storage. Because there are so many items in these modded uh, worlds, especially a mod pack like Mod Sauce that has a you know, hundred plus mods in it, that we simply can't keep all those things in regular storage. I've already almost filled up these three chests, barely doing anything. So we are going to work on getting some better storage. And we're also going to work on a little bit of ore doubling. So I think we'll get started with the ore doubling piece first. Because that's going to help us get some of the better storage. And you'll see one of the items we need. We'll, we'll get to that. You, you hang out over there, man. We're going to come back to you. All right. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to make an iron furnace. Iron furnace this is part of better furnaces pack and uh, you can see it's pretty simple to make just a bunch of iron and a furnace <laughs> imagine that uh, uh, let's see but let me do this from here shift click on that sweet so if you uh, if you go to the recipe in not enough items and you shift left click on the question mark here it puts that recipe in your crafting station and then, then I just grab it and now we're cool we're a cool guy with an iron furnace um, blah, right there. So, from what I understand now, uh, we might want to look at the rest of the better furnaces stuff. Because I think we might have to put some upgrades in here. Let's see. Ore processing upgrade. Advanced ore processing upgrade. Auto output upgrade. Okay. So, this will let us actually uh, tell the sides of the furnace where they should input and output. So if I wanted to put boxes on either side and put a bunch of the ore on one side and have it spit out the other, that's what we use. Uh, fuel efficiency. So, okay, we need to make this. That should be easy. I actually know where there's a piston that nobody's using. And hopefully I've got some flint. What about uh, disc one? Not so easy. So we won't be doing the other one. But we can do this one. We need a flint. We need stone. I got plenty of that, I think. I know I got the stone. Here, I'm going to take this. Uh, now, flint. See, you see, this is my exact problem. I got all this garbage, and I don't know where anything actually useful is. Do I have flint? Sweet. You know what? We're just going to go steal this piston and make sure there's no creepers getting ready to blow me up. Come here, piston. You're needed. Maybe I should fix this, too. Do I have enough stuff to fix this? No. No figures. Give me this. Okay. You don't need it anymore. We're good. So, let's craft this upgrade, and let's get a little bit of early ore doubling. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time working with the uh, better furnaces, even though it is nice, early level, efficient ore doubling, because I want to do things the hard way, and the first mod that we're really going to work with heavily in this is going to be Mechanism, which I'm very, very, very excited to be playing around with. I've played around with it in other worlds before. It is a blast. It's one of the most fun mods I've ever worked with, and it's also one of the most frustrating ones I've ever worked with, especially when you get to the later stuff. Uh, oh, we won't spoil too much now. I need a little bit of ore doubling for the time being so that we're uh, not wasting too many materials. That's... Although we can get a lot of materials, you also need to use a lot of materials. So it's important that we get as much out of them as possible. 
and uh, eventually we'll actually be able to automate some of the process of getting some of these materials but again by the time you start getting to automating materials you need to use a lot more materials to build stuff so I'm gonna let these guys cook up and we're gonna take a look at this guy over here the builder and what this will let us do is this is gonna let us make chests and backpacks from compact storage in order to make said builder check this out it's easy bam couple of irons a couple of levers and a chest easy right yeah, that's what I thought and then now uh, what we do is we right click on this really cool cheap and easy item and it will let us customize a chest and it will uh, create it for us which is I think awesome I mean freaking awesome and look I can get up to 24 rows with 12 columns that's maddening look at the double the double chest what is this one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six nine by six come on man we can get 24 by 12 uh, so let's see this is what we are required 18 chests not bad 64 iron we'll have that 64 iron bars eh, easy enough and some clay um, that actually might be the hardest piece to get here just because we don't have really good sources of that nearby uh, this is gonna take a little bit of time so let me go and get some of the materials that we need and I'll come back when we're ready to make the next chest okay we're back check it out I already got all the stuffs in here make sure yeah, 64 Mira, 18 yeah 64 again yes all oh, 18 again sweet um, build the chest oh I made it Ooh, that is awesome all right let's go find a cool place to put that where are you gonna go um you know what this looks like a cool spot BAM holy cow it's uh it's too big for my screen hmm hmm <laughs> well I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually uh, that's insane there's got to be some kind of UI scale for this or something, but uh, maybe going max size was a little mistake. No, never. Of course, it's not a mistake. Watch this. Bam. We just shift click a bunch of stuff in there. All right, you just. I am uh, very, very soon here going to actually organize and uh, dump things that I don't need and make sure the things go in the right places. But for now, I just want to get rid of these boxes here. Uh, another thing that we're going to want to do here fairly soon is we're going to want to work on uh, the equivalent in this particular mod pack to barrels, which I think is uh, storage drawers. And uh, that, I believe, if it's the same as barrels or if it's similar to barrels, is going to allow us to stack a ton of one type of item. So all the, the stone, all the dirt, all the stuff that we get a maddening amount of when we're farming as much as we're going to be farming... I want to be able to sort those out nice and neatly. And uh, they're a good option until we can get to some of the more, what appears to be mid-game items now, since they've apparently adjusted the recipe for the deep storage unit, which is probably one of the best items that you can use for uh, holding a large amount of one type of item. But look at this. This used to be really cheap, and they changed it. And it's not cheap anymore. It's about as far away from cheap as you can possibly be. Some of this stuff may not make any sense right now, but it will later, and uh, believe me, it's <laughs> that is not cheap. That hurts my brain a little bit. But it's okay. You know, we'll get there eventually. That's, you know, the fun part about doing these sort of things is actually having a progression and an end goal in mind and always having something that you can build towards. Um, especially because, as you know, with Minecraft, what you build towards is what you build towards. It's all entirely up to you. And that's one of the best parts about playing games like these. And then when you expand them with mods like this, you know, the possibilities are so amazing. That's what makes it hard for me to go back to vanilla sometimes. So uh, I'm going to uh, get a little bit of organization going on here. But now that we've gotten some of these things going... The next step that we're going to do is we're going to get started with uh, some of the mechanism blocks. Like I said, I really want to get into that mod. And one of the reasons why we want to get into that mod is because of the ore processing. So uh, we'll get started with some of the basic machines here. 
once I get done organizing these boxes. We'll be back. I almost forgot an important piece of what we were doing right here, which was the storage drawers. Uh, so you can see here, I want to make an oak drawer, which holds 32 stacks per drawer. Not bad. Uh, you can see over here where we've got the extra drawers, one by two, one by two. So these all hold 16 stack per drawer, and they have two drawers. You get the idea. So I'm going to make, um, you know what, I'm going to make a couple of these. It's just oak planks and a chest, easy enough. Make a couple of those, and um, you know what? We're gonna just make this side our storage side, so bap, bap, bap. And then I think that we should be able to take something like cobblestone and dirt. Dirt, dirt. Eh, I can't see the top roll. What do we got here? You tell me, game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think now that we should... Must have to put the item in your hand. Click it. Sweet. Hold my dirt. So you just put what you want to put in there in the uh, in the mouse wheel there. Right click it to put it in. And if it's anything like the uh, the barrels you just left click and it gives you back. Do I have to shift left? Okay, shift left click gives you a stack. One left click gives you one. All right. That's pretty cool. I mean, that works for me. It, it's not quite like the barrels. I'll probably miss those a little bit. But you know what? This is going to do the trick. So we need to start working on mechanism and uh, in order to do so we need osmium ingots which I'm cooking up right now uh, you'll get osmium ore as you're out digging and you know doing your thing down in those uh, down in those caves down in those mines gathering up all the goodies I get particularly excited when I see these gimme <laughs> uh, so let's um let's let this finish gathering up and uh, we'll get started with mechanism we'll be back Okay, the rest of that's made up, so we're good to go with Osmium. I'm sure I'm going to regret not having any more iron than I do, but that's another problem for another time. So, let's get started with Mechanism. First and foremost, we need some form of power. So, we'll go ahead and we'll just start with the Mechanism power. Um, do note that Mechanism will use uh, pretty much any of the power sources in these mod packs, like RF. Uh, which we'll probably end up using uh, mostly at some point, but we're just going to get started with the heat generator, which looks freaking sweet while we're at it. And that's going to take uh, copper, furnaces, wood, and you get the, you get the rest. Uh, do I have any copper? There's a good question. Here is the question of the day. Yes, in fact, I have the copper that's used for mechanism. Give me. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm so impatient right now. Thank you. Okay, so let's make this thing. Uh, shift click. Nope, because I don't have any wood on me or a furnace. Come on, smart guy. Use that brain a little bit, would you? It'll help you in the long run. I know that I have furnaces in here. This is really going to be a problem. I should probably figure this out. Again, that's a problem for future nerd. Let that guy figure it out. Maybe take a couple of those. Um, here's a question of the year, too. I don't know if this will let me use some of the more odd woods that appear to have been added in later packs. So let's see if this will work. I'm not convinced that it will, but we're going to try it anyway. Who oh, it does. Give me. Um, hmm. Let's make a few more. Wait. Wait. Copper. <laughs> Gimme. Let's make three more. Because, uh, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, these don't stack. That's going to be fun later on. So, now that we have a heat generator, uh, we can use what pretty much all the other early game... Uh, power items used, which is going to be uh, coal or charcoal, and that's going to give us our power. Uh, the next thing that we want is a metallurgic infuser. Say that ten times fast. Metallurgic? Okay. We'll end up needing a couple of these, and oh, that's glowstone, isn't it? 
Something doesn't seem right there. I don't remember having to use Ganny's surface. Maybe that's gunpowder? Huh. Okay. Oh, redstone. I just saw a redstone. You saw it too. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme redstone. And I know I have some blocks somewhere. Give me that too. We're just going to make one of these for now because uh, I don't really feel like dealing with this. Iron furnaces, more iron. Do I have any more furnaces left? Nope, I used them up to make those cool power things that we're not going to use all right now. Uh, Yeah, let's see. You go hell and give me... I clicked too many times. Come back over here. And craft up everybody's favorite easy-to-make item. A furnace. Furnace number two. Uh, Bam! We did it! Oh, yeah. So, now, let's... um. Hmm. Right here. This is going to be good. Bam! And let's put some power next to them. Bam! Now, I believe that these guys should be uh, connected right now just by being next to one another. I know that there are some things that you need to do later on with the sides of these guys, but for right now, I don't think that we need to do that. Okay. Uh, I should be able to just pop in coal, which I have a decent amount of. We're definitely going to need to do some farming here soon, but not important yet. Ooh, look at that go. That is not efficient. And this is not getting power. Let's see. You're supposed to be getting your power from there. I don't think that we need to put anything in here yet, uh, but I do need a little bit of this. Okay, so that burns away very quickly. We need to put this guy here and this guy here. Oh, don't tell me that I need to put it on the other side. Well, let's try it. This one's not going to have any juice. Of course, of course. Are you getting your power? Why aren't you getting power? You should be getting power from the green side. Why are you not getting power? Yeah, so I do need to... That's generating. Oh, these are so much fun. You know what? Maybe I need to actually place this one down a second. I'm going to lose all that charcoal, too. Severely irritating. Really need to make the tools to... Click. Want to bet that's not going to work? Do I got any charcoal left? Oh, that's a special and magical kind of fail. <sighs> All right. Let me go get <laughs> let me go get some of this stuff we need and come back when I can get this stupid thing working properly. Okay, we're back. I got some more coal, and it was quite a lot more simple than I was making it out to be. The front of this machine had a, uh, a power output on it. You can actually see it when I put this one down. That little piece right in front is the power output. Oh, oh, that one still's got juice in it. Okay, that's fine. Once I connected the metallurgic infuser to the front of it, it pulled all the power it needed. So now we can actually do what we want to do with this, which is take our coal and put this in the secondary item slot here. You'll see it filling up a little bit. And uh, stick some iron in that spot. I'll watch this thing run. This is going to give us is this enriched iron yes enriched iron so we're going to take a couple bits of these and we're going to use that to craft some of the uh other things that we need okay now that we've got a pretty decent amount of enriched iron we're going to take said enriched iron and we're going to pop it right back in here we might need to put a little bit more coal in there and what this is going to give us is steel dust if I remember correctly, I believe it's going to be steel dust. Yes, steel dust. We can take the steel dust and we can smelt that into steel ingots, which we'll need for some of the items that you'll see uh, right here, like the energized smelter. Which will take a couple of glass. I'm cooking that up right now. It'll take this steel casing. 
So we need four of those for this guy and an Osmium ingot, easy enough. And then we'll need a couple of these basic control circuits, which is just redstone in the metallurgic infuser with an Osmium ingot. Uh, pretty easy. We'll need two for that machine, and uh, we're going to need to get the same amount for the enrichment chamber which also requires a steel casing so we'll need eight steel ingots we'll need uh, four of these control circuits and let's see we're uh, out of juice aren't we are we out of juice we got a carbon okay this heat generator using coal um, kind of stinks this energy uh, production is not very strong. So that's definitely going to be something we're going to need to work on right away is building a better infrastructure of power. Though I will say that there are other ways to passively generate power with the heat generators using lava, which is something we may end up jumping into fairly soon. But for right now, this is just the easiest way for us to get some juice going. Uh, I will stop once this gets up to 8 because this is just going to get to be a little out of hand. And we still have those control circuits to make. So I want to make sure we don't run out of coal. I really don't want to have to go farming out some more. Just for this particular purpose. So let's see. That's actually going to be perfect. That'll empty out our carbon. I won't have to dump it. We won't lose anything. Jamon. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's see. It was... We need four. One, two, three, four. How many did that give me? Okay, so you get 20 for every one redstone, it looks like. Looked like. I felt like that just gave me 10. Maybe it is just 10. It's 10 for every redstone. So we'll need four. That's not making what I want it to make. Because it's not iron. Hey, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's try this again. With the right material this time. Maybe I am lucky it ran out of juice. That's probably going to take the rest of my coal. This one actually still has power in it, so I can break this one and bring it over there. They do retain whatever fuel or whatever power happened to be inside the machine at the time of breaking. I also realize I still have Matsu's uh, item here, so <laughs> hopefully if you're watching this, Matsu, I'm sorry. I grabbed it and I forgot I had it. I'll put it back, I promise. Maybe at some point before I end this episode. Maybe. Here we go. Just about that moment of truth. One more. Still enough power. Good, 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 good. Gimme. Sweet. So we need to make some, uh, some, oh. Hmm. Smelt these up first. Grab this. I don't think I should need to get any more there. Alrighty, here we go. Let's make the steel casings first. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sweet. Uh, enrichment chamber. Do we have everything we need? I'm pretty sure we do. Just one. Thank you. And then we need the energized smelter. Yep. Cool. So now we can go and take these guys and drop them on the back of these individual powers, which uh, we're going to change soon enough. But for now, we'll pop that on there. And uh, we'll pop this guy on here. Uh, uh, there we go. That's our enrichment chamber. Let's take a look and see what this config looks like. Okay, cool. So that should take... Uh, and I want this guy to be red. I'll tell you guys what that all means uh, as long as it works the first time. So now we can take in the enrichment chamber, which is fully powered. And I believe that we drop some ores in there and watch this guy go. This is going to craft an item for us. Or it's actually going to craft two items for us if we're... Uh... Oh, see, there's two. Which is our iron dust. And you know what? I actually have to do auto eject. There we go. Now, this is going to take and it's going to smelt those iron dust into iron bars. Yay! Or doubling. And you might be asking, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, nerd. This seems like a massive pain in the rear for ore doubling. I mean, you just made this cool iron furnace with better furnaces that took almost no effort. And right away provided some ore doubling. And it looks like you can upgrade those. And you'd be right. And uh, I don't know enough about that mod to tell you exactly how deep you can get in there. But what I can tell you about mechanism is... You can do more than just double your ore. You can triple. You can quadruple. And if you're feeling really froggy, you can quintuple 
your ore processing. That means for every one ore you get, you can make five bars. That's nuts. And it is very, very hard to keep up the five times when you get to the end, but it is really worth it in the long run. It's a lot of work to get these started, but uh, not only can we upgrade how quickly these machines run, we can upgrade their sizes by using factories, which we'll get into later. And uh, like I said, I mean, how, how awesome is being able to make five bars out of one ore? That's craziness. Well, cool, guys. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like. That would be so fantastic. And, uh, hey, you know what? If you got any comments or suggestions or, you know, anything that you'd like to see me do in this series, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, I love hearing what you guys think. I love hearing ideas that everybody has, the things that we can do. Anything we can do to make this better and make this as entertaining as possible for everybody makes me happy. So next time we'll get into expanding our power network a little bit and maybe see if we can get up to double the ore processing. How crazy would that be? It might be a little hard this early in the game, but hey, you never know. We'll try it, and uh, we'll just continue to play around with mechanisms some more. Thanks again. Bye-bye.